After I tested some of these turbo fans, every turbo fan company on the internet decided they wanted to send me one of these. So we're going to find out how many of these things are good and how many are not as good. This is the Senric portable turbo fan, stepless adjustment speed, high capacity, portable, BDLC jet fan. So it's brushless. Hey, great. And a whole bunch of other stuff. Who cares about that though? It comes with this long cone. I assume to get you some nice velocity. It does have a charging cord, which is USB-A to USB-C. It has this wide cone for blowing wide things. Like the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Attached to it is this shorter cone. And then you can see that it has some LEDs inside, looks like. And uh, it's a little bit different because it has the on switch. And it immediately turns on. There's no trigger. Puts out a lot of air, but there's no on off on this one, which I do not like. I'd rather have an on off switch. It has this variable speed dial. I don't know about that. I don't think so, Tim. The Senric with the standard cone nozzle comes in at 370 grams. Now we're gonna test the air volume of our turbo blower, the old Senric right here. We're gonna try it without any attachments. Then we'll try it with both the attachments. We'll see how much velocity it can achieve according to our anemometer. This is a NIST level apparatus, so do not doubt the measurements. We're starting on level one. Six sixty nine point three. Gonna juice it up. Twenty seven thirty six. We're gonna add the short attachment on low speed. Stays about the same, right at six ninety. Now going all the way up. Right below 2800. Now let's add the long slender attachment on low speed. Seven oh eight point seven. Right below 2800. Here's some debris outside of my very, very clean shop. I'm gonna turn our fan on and jack it up. This is a Cendric right here. Trying to blow some stuff out of the way. Can't get the big one. There we go. Move the big one a little bit. give you a rough idea what it can move most of the dry stuff some of the stuff that comes out of the ground like the grass from when I mowed the grass that's dead now well, there's the Senric I have this scale and we're gonna turn it to grams I'm gonna hold each one of the blowers about four inches off the scale and see how much pressure it can actually put on the scale let's see how well it does with the standard little cone on the front Let's see what happens when I have this elongated cone. Should be more velocity, but will it be more pressure? Now we'll try the wide cone. Looks like the wide cone is the least amount of pressure. Well, what about the no cone? So it looks like the maximum pressure we're getting out of the Senric is gonna be around 140 grams. My thoughts on the Senric. It seems to be made pretty well. It's not all metal. The one thing I dislike about the Senric is the fact that it doesn't have a trigger or a button you can push. It just runs constantly when you turn it on. And I don't really like that. 
It does have a variable speed nozzle. So you do get a variety of speeds. The USB-C charging port is right above the trigger, which to me is kind of odd, which means you're always going to have your finger right there where the port is. So I'd worry about it getting dirty or just oil from your hands in the port. It comes with a variety of nozzles, which is good. We have the standard nozzle, the wide nozzle, and the long nozzle here for a little bit more velocity, theoretically. Overall, I'd rate the build quality as average, and I probably wouldn't choose this one simply because of the trigger. I don't prefer that. If it doesn't bother you, then that's fine, but all other things equal, I like to have the trigger. So that's the Cenric right there. Let me know what you think in the comments, and uh, there'll be a whole bunch of these coming because these people love to send out air dusters, evidently. All varieties of companies. Those of us with dirty hands Blood stains and a twine Right away each morning Grind it out another time